Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have Caroline here with me today. And today I'm bringing to you part three of my wax collection video. And we are going to talk about my Disney licensed bars. And if you can hear yelling or talking really loudly in the background, my boyfriend and my son are playing a video game and doesn't seem to be going very well. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you haven't checked out part one and two, they are uploaded on my channel. We talked about my fruity scents and my florals. So check those out if you haven't seen them yet. And like I said, we're doing the Disney ones today. Okay. Now I just want to do a quick disclaimer before I get started. Um, the, this is my own wax collection. It is not for sale. It's for my own personal use. And let's jump in. So I have three of the new Alice in Wonderland We're All Mad Here. This is awesome. It's in my Scentsy Club. It's like plum and sugared strawberry and um, a burst of fizz. I don't get a fizz, but I do get like a tang. Oh, you like that one? You like that one? It smells good. I do get like a tang. Get something on your face. Um, and it's an awesome performer. It's very fruity. Oh, so good. So I've got three of those. Right? Got one, two, three. Three of those ones. I have two. Just keep swimming. This is no longer available. And I actually hadn't my first experience with this scent was in the buddy clip because i i received a whiff box and it came with the dory buddy clip and it was scented with just keep swimming this is very salty and aquatic and just like ocean aquatic salty scent and it's super super nice i really like this one if you if you um, liked this, um, you the only really salty, airy, aquatic type scent we have right now is by the sea. And they're similar, but this one just has more of an aquatic note. Whereas by the sea, oh, by the sea is definitely more salty, in my opinion. So we've got those. I have two of the 100 Acre Wood um, Winnie the Pooh scent. And I grabbed these when we had the Honey Pot warmer release. They also released a couple of the, the Winnie the Pooh buddies and the, the scent. This is very light and perfumey and it has like lavender in it. It's a definite bedroom scent in my opinion. Um, it's not the greatest performer, but it's, it's a beautiful scent. So we've got those. What do you got there? And we have, we've got, she wants to show off these ones. We have four of the Stitch Experiment 626. And this one reminds me of Sea, Sun, and Fun. And that was available to be voted for in the last voting for Bring Back My Bar. And I voted like insane for that one. And sadly, it didn't make it. You are making a big mess. <laughs> what you doing? Um, this is kind of similar to that, though. It has like a salty airness to it. But I'm pretty sure... This is supposed to be tropical fruity. Like it's supposed to have, um, you're making a big mess. It's supposed to have like pineapple or coconut in here. And I can definitely get a coconut, but it also kind of smells like sunscreen. And I, I love sea sun and fun. So I'm a big fan of this one. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. We have big mess going on here. Okay, so what's next? What's next here? Um, we have two of the Belle Enchanted Rose. This was probably my least favorite of the Disney Princess ones. Um, it's floral. It's definitely rose, but it's very sweet. And it's kind of, 
it's not powdery. It's just a simple rose, but it's sweet. So I have those two. And then going along with the Disney princess, I've got two of the Ariel um, under the sea. This is the most aquatic one. And I'm pretty sure this has like an aquatic floral and um, like cucumber and apple blossom. It's very, very um, bathroom aquatic note, kind of like aloe water and cucumber. So I've got those two. Um, and then my, <laughs> what are you just getting in everything? And then one of my favorites of the Disney princess ones is the Cinderella um, Happily Ever After. No, 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 <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Sorry guys, she's just all over the place. Oh, she's all over the place. Sorry guys. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you just getting into everything. Um, the true to your heart or the happily ever after sorry very floral i want to say this is probably the most floral of yeah guys it's i mentioned in my last video that it kind of reminds me of blue hyacinth oh it's so nice it's not powdery but it is definitely perfumey and i love that so i i'm I'm regretting taking it out of my Scentsy Club, but it is what it is. So I've got quite a few bars of it. So I'll definitely make those last until we see that one return. And then the other Disney princess that I absolutely love is I've got six Mulan True to Your Heart. And this one is one that is, is kind of the same thing situation as poppy fields where I like to melt it when I'm reading or going to bed or whatever um and I only ever melt one cube at a time this is floral but it's very smooth and light and kind of creamy oh you guys I love this it's so beautiful so I have those which you almost knocked over the whole pile you should have had daddy look after you. Okay, what else do we have? If the lighting changes, there's a thunderstorm coming in right now and it's like the wind is blowing like crazy and the clouds keep going in front of the sun and I'm expecting that the thunderstorm is going to be a pretty bad one just from what it looks like outside. Um... I've got two of the new Mulan Not Your Everyday Dragon. This is like papaya, mango, and ginger flower. If you like chili mango, you're probably going to really like this. It's definitely heavy on the papaya, and you can smell that zing of ginger. It gives it almost like, I don't want to say a spice, but it just gives it a nice zing. So we have those two. Those are the newest to my collection, along with the Dumbo Circus Parade. This is also new to my collection. It's a creamy citrus, like citrus and vanilla. It's very light. I can almost get a citrus peel note from this, but this is the kind of citrus that I like. I like that creamy um, I don't want to say bakery, but creamy, almost candied type citrus. So there's that one. Oh my goodness, you're frustrating me. <laughs> you're knocking over everything. Um, I have an Aladdin Arabian Nights. This is a bedroom scent for me, for sure. It's very musky and just romantic. It's light. Um, I remember this not being the best performer, um, but it's nice in the bedroom. So I've got that. Uh, another Aladdin one is a friend like me. Bathroom scent for sure. It's one of the, I think it's the only like aquatic type. Actually, no. This and what was the other one? Um, I don't remember what it's called. A Whole New World, I think. They were like the aquatic ones. This has a slight floral 
but it's definitely aquatic and it's also light so there's that good for the bathroom and then I have Prince Ali um some of the Aladdin bars I don't know if they're still available but I, I checked yesterday and some of the individual bars were still available as well as the full collection in the clearance section this is like citrus manly scent kind of like now and zen where you can get that now and Zen is like a grapefruit citrus, but it takes on a manly cologne feel. This is kind of the same situation, but I find this one to be less citrus, but it's still noticeable and more of the manly cologne, but it's sweet. So it's not like mystery man. It's very much sweeter than that. Oh, really like that one. Uh, this, if this is still available, I'm going to pick up more of that in the clearance section. And then the last uh, Aladdin one, I have four of the One Jump Ahead, and I'm definitely gonna pick up more of this if it's still available. This was my favorite of that collection, and it's like tangy orange and an apple note. It's like oranges and apples, and it's absolutely delicious. It's fruity, and because there's that orange in there, Typically, I like to do apple scents at like the end of summer, transitioning to fall, but because of the orange in here, it gives it a nice, fresh, summery feel. So I have those four to go through. You are cranky. You're a cranky girl. Here, why don't you play with this? What's that? I have a Toy Story Reach for the Sky, which is still waiting for me to warm it. It's been sitting in my melting basket all month and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, Circle of Life, in my opinion, is pretty similar to this one. Um, this is more rustic. Circle of Life has a little bit more like citrus sweetness to it, but they're so close, guys. This, this is what like a cowboy would smell like. It's rustic, kind of musky, woodsy, maybe like a suede or a leather note in here definitely not my favorite so there's that and then my absolute favorite disney scent of all time i have i don't think i'm gonna be able to do this with one hand i have four eight i have eight Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. I have two bars in my Scentsy Club. I may reduce it to one, but it's never coming out of my club, that's for sure. This is like, like fizzy orange and currants. It smells like a grape, can't like candied grape, but not medicinal. Like it doesn't smell like kids' grape cough medicine. It's very juicy and fruity and there is like a zing but it's not like a fizz in my like I don't smell this and think like soda but it's oh it's just so good I love that one so I've got quite a bit of those and like I said I get two bars of it every two months I may reduce it to one bar but either way it's never coming out of my club uh, Twitter painted. This is currently available, and it's this is a nice earthy, outdoorsy green, green note. Um, if you liked Rainforest Bungalow, that one was a little bit more on the dewy side, but they're kind of similar because this does have that earthy, dewy forest grass leaves type note oh it's really nice and I haven't warmed this bar but I did warm two testers which is about one and a half to two full cubes I warmed those in my son's room and it lasted like three days very strong performer very long lasting so that's a good and it's very refreshing too like it just freshened up the air in the room so I really like this one and then I have a Marvel Nine Realms um, this is also currently available this is manly it's kind of 
it's not cologne like but it, it definitely is you smell this and think manly scent I don't think it's anything special it's got like blue tea in it and it, it I might there might be like a tea note but um it's not it's okay um I don't think it would be a repurchase but it's nice and then what else do we have that you can play with oh here you like to play with this play with that play with your saline <laughs> um and then I have two of the Star Wars I have the light side of the force and I have the dark side of the force that's her she's saying kitty <laughs> kitty um so dark side of the force I prefer this one for sure. This one is kitty. This one is manly, but it's smooth and it's deep. It's like a nice, rich, deep, manly, smooth scent, not cologne like. And then the other one is more aquatic and fresh. And I definitely prefer the dark side over the light side, but you're supposed to mix the two of them to get a different fragrance. So I'm definitely going to try that at some point. Okay, and then I have four of the Angel Experiment 624. This is like cotton candy, sugary, sweet candy scent. So good. If you like cotton candy cookie that's in the Easter bundle right now, you would probably like this. Or if you like this one, try, pick up the Easter collection because you might like candy dandy, cotton candy cookie. It's just very candy-like. Oh, love that. I had five bars of it, but I ended up gifting one to my mom because she smelled it and was like, yes, I love that one. Um, I have a Dance of Autumn from the Frozen 2 collection. And just like the Aladdin bars, the individual Frozen bars, as well as the full collection, was available in the clearance section. So a Dance of Autumn, I think, was the fan favorite of the collection. A lot of people really liked this one because it kind of has that painted leaves vibe without that crisp coolness. It does smell like fall leaves mixed with like a hint of apple. I don't think it was my favorite of the bundle, but it's nice. I've got that to go through. Born to Lead. Um, this is the fruity one of the collection, but it's more fall time fruity. Like there's no spice in it, but there's definitely like a plum or like a deep fruit, like a fall time fruit. Sadly, it seems to be pretty light though, so I wouldn't use that in my open concept. I'm definitely going to warm a lot of the frozen ones in like smaller rooms because I don't think any of them were super, super strong except for this one. And this is the Mythic Journey. In my opinion, this was like the strongest, like pow in your face perfume. Yes, very perfumey, like to the tea perfume. Um, I have warmed two bars or two cubes and I put it in my bedroom and it blew me out of there. It's really nice though. It's beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And then I have the North Calls. This one was one that I really liked from that collection. It's aquatic, fresh, bathroom scent. It's just very fresh and clean. So I really liked that one. And then my absolute favorite and last Disney bar that I have is the Fearless by Nature from the Frozen 2 collection. If this is still available in the clearance, I'm going to grab a couple because I love it. This, I don't want to say it, it doesn't have that sinus clearing eucalyptus, like just breathe. It's not like that, but it does have kind of a Vicks eucalyptus feel to it. And it's earthy, like, like nature, like the forest. It's, but it's not overpowering. 
it's like a medium and and the that eucalyptus i think that's what it is i think there is eucalyptus in here oh you're making a big mess she's just knocking over all the bars um i if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure the scent notes for this had eucalyptus in it and if it doesn't then something is giving it that sinus clearing effect but it's so nice when it's warming. It's just a nice, fresh, foresty, earthy scent. So I'm I'm hoping this is still available in the clearance because I want to grab a couple more. So that's it, guys. That is my Disney, my Disney bars. Woohoo! Which one do you got there? That's Mythic Journey. It's pretty. So um, my next video is going to be part four, and I think we're going to discuss my um, fresh scents. I have quite a few fresh scents. So look forward to that video. We'll be going up tomorrow, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.